Eight Daily Affirmations for Empaths and Sensitive Souls As an empath or highly sensitive person, you might have some difficulties with handling your sensitive nature. This is especially true when your qualities are constantly overlooked and denied by various factors around you. And if proper care is not taken, you can begin to harbor the frustration and pain inside of you. You let all the anger build up and you judge yourself with a nagging thought in the back of your mind that you don't belong. Whenever you're going through a phase of anger, pain, frustration, and rejection, one of the easiest and basic ways to help pull you through is to employ the use of powerful affirmations. It's true that the judgmental voices in your head will be raging and screaming out, but there are some powerful affirmations that can bring peace to those woes. Besides, have you forgotten who you are? How quickly did you forget all the positive qualities you have? and the power that you wield as an empath or highly sensitive person. The good news is that these affirmations are not custom made for a particular group of people. It's just a few that are reserved for the empaths. So even if you're not a highly sensitive person, feel free to make use of these affirmations. The majority of them are built around following your inner wisdom, healthy boundaries, big challenges that come our way occasionally, and self-esteem. How do you know if you're highly sensitive or not? Just before we delve into the life-transforming affirmations, you need to know the kind of person you are. So we'll be looking at what it means to be an empath or highly sensitive person. The highly sensitive people, HSPs, are known to make up about 15 to 20% of the population, formerly known as sensory processing sensitivity, SPSs. High sensitivity is an inborn, normal trait that makes you more aware of the activities going on around you. Due to your increased level of mental alertness, you tend to be more easily overwhelmed. As described by Dr. Elaine Aaron, the foremost researcher on sensory processing sensitivity, the DOES model gives us an insight into a simple summary of all the aspects of high sensitivity. It goes like this. D. Depth of processing. This is the tendency to process information more deeply. O. Overstimulation you're more likely to become overwhelmed because you tend to notice much more. E. Emotional reactivity. Due to the fact that you feel more, it automatically relates that you will react more to both negative and positive experiences. S. Sensing the subtle. You tend to be more aware of the things that are going on in your surroundings. So, are you an empath or highly sensitive person? We'll have to borrow the words of Judith Orloff, in this brief piece, she explains the similarities and differences between empaths and highly sensitive people. She wrote, Empaths share some or all of the traits of what psychologist Elaine Aaron calls highly sensitive people, or HSPs. These traits include a low threshold for stimulation, the need for alone time, sensitivity to light, sound, and smell, plus an aversion to large groups. In addition, it takes highly sensitive people longer to wind down after a busy day because their system's ability to transition from high stimulation to quiet and calm is slower. Empaths also share a highly sensitive person's love of nature and quiet environments. Empaths, however, take the experience of the highly sensitive person further. We can sense subtle energy, which is called shakti or prana in Eastern healing traditions, and we absorb this energy into our own bodies. Highly sensitive people don't typically do that. This capacity allows us to experience the energies around us in extremely deep ways. Since everything is made up of subtle energy, including emotions and physical sensations, we energetically internalize the feelings, pain, and various physical sensations of others. We often have trouble distinguishing someone else's discomfort from our own. She added that empaths actually sense other people's emotions, energy, and physical symptoms in our bodies without the usual filters that most people have. It is possible to be both an empath and highly sensitive person at the same time, but most highly sensitive people are not empaths. Affirmations for Empaths and Highly Sensitive People You'll find that these affirmations are very helpful and practical if you're an empath or a highly sensitive person, or both. If you ever need validation for yourself, you can go over them. You can choose to make it a morning rite of reassuring yourself with these words before you start your day. You can look into the mirror as you say them. You can just as well stick them the surfaces that you frequently visit so that you see them often and they never leave your mind. 
So here are the eight daily affirmations for empaths. Number one, I deserve to be in a loving relationship where I feel comfortable. I deserve to express my true needs. I deserve to have my sensitivities respected. I deserve to be heard. Number two, I vow to honor my sensitivities and treat myself lovingly as I explore what it means to be an empath and embrace my gifts. I will appreciate myself every day. Number three, I will honor my intuition. I will listen to my dreams. I will not second guess my inner voice. I will seek to find balance with my intuition and other aspects of my life so that I can express my full spectrum of sensitivities and be whole. Number four, I am strong. I am loving. I'm positive. I have the power to clear all negativity and stress from my body. I embrace my physical, emotional, and spiritual wellness. Number five, I will protect my energy around draining people. I will learn how to set healthy boundaries. I will learn to say no at the right times. I will listen to my intuition about the relationships that are nurturing for me. Number six, I set my intuition to attract rewarding work that energizes me. I will practice self-care in my profession to protect my sensitivities. I vow to play and rest when I'm off work to recharge myself. Number seven, I will embrace my sensitivities and take time to rest and recharge. I will express my needs with supportive people. I will not hide my gifts. I will be authentic. I will stand in my power. I'm proud to be a sensitive and loving person. Number eight, I will listen to the wisdom of my body. I will eat a healthy diet. I will practice self-care to heal my addictions and stay physically, emotionally, and spiritually balanced. Well, what did you think of this video, guys? I hope that you've enjoyed my explanation. And if you have something on your mind, please don't hesitate to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to be notified of subsequent videos. And thanks for watching.